Welcome to Accessing the Project Application. This short video provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to access the project application in eSnaps. Once you successfully log into eSnaps, in order to be able to view and fill out a project application, you must go through four steps. Step one, ensuring the project applicant profile is in complete status. Step two, selecting the appropriate funding opportunity. Step three, creating or establishing the project application, and step four, accessing and opening the project application on the submission screen. This process may seem unintuitive, but it has its own internal eSnaps logic. The hint is that these four steps are shown on the left menu bar in eSnaps when you first log in. Before we get into how to access the project application, this video briefly summarizes how to access eSnaps. For purposes of this video, when we use the word you, we are referring to you as an individual. When referring to your organization, we use the term your organization or the project applicant. Log into eSnaps by directing your internet browser to the link shown on the screen. On the left menu bar, enter your username and password. If you are new to eSnaps, you will need to create an eSnaps username and password. To do this, select the Create Profile link from the left menu bar. After creating your account, log in by entering your new username and password into the fields on the left menu bar. Please note, each eSnaps user should have his or her own unique login credentials. Once you have an eSnaps account, in order to see your organization's files in eSnaps, you must be added to your organization's account as a registered user. For information on how to become registered to your organization's account, please refer to the resource on adding and deleting registrants in eSnaps, located on the eSnaps resources page on the HUD exchange at the link shown on the screen. After logging in, you will enter the eSnaps system and arrive at the welcome screen. Now we're ready to go to the first step in accessing the project application in eSnaps. Ensuring your organization's project applicant profile is in complete status. Project applicants must make sure that their project applicant profile is complete before moving forward in the project application process. An applicant profile is in complete status when you navigate to the submission summary screen the last form in the applicant profile, and at the bottom of the page, there is an edit button with a statement below it saying, this e-form has been marked as complete. If your organization has previously applied for YHDP funding, there will be an existing applicant profile in eSnaps, which is not the one that must be in complete status. You should not create a new applicant profile. Please note, Located on the top left side of the applicant screen is an applicant field that identifies which profile you are in. Some people have access to more than one organization's eSnaps account. For example, if the organization applying for funding as a project applicant is also serving as the collaborative applicant, the organization will have two applicant profiles, one for the project applicant and one for the collaborative applicant. If this situation applies to you, the applicant field will be a drop-down menu, and you can switch between the two organizational eSnaps accounts. Please note, project applications are not accessible from the collaborative applicant profile. If you need to edit your project applicant profile, you can do so at any time. For instructions, please see the resource, Putting the Applicant Profile in Edit Mode, on the HUD Exchange at the URL shown on the screen. Step 2. After ensuring that the project applicant profile is in complete mode, you can move to the next step required to access the project application in eSnaps, which is funding opportunity registration. All project applicants must register their organization for the applicable project application funding opportunity. Registering for the funding opportunity enables project applicants to apply for funds during the associated competition. Registering in this context means indicating your intent to apply, and funding opportunity refers to the type of grant for which you are applying. 
To register the organization, select Funding Opportunity Registrations on the left menu bar. Next, select the register icon adjacent to the correct item. There are several grant options listed in the Funding Opportunity Name column. They include Renewal, New, COC Planning, UFA Cost, and Fiscal Year 2019 YHDP New Project Application. Make sure that you are selecting the funding opportunity for the correct fiscal year. In this example, we are opening a fiscal year 2019 YHDP new project application. Selecting the register icon will bring you to the funding opportunity detail screen. On this screen, a question will appear asking if you want to register the applicant for the funding opportunity. Select yes to confirm that you want to register your organization. The screen will indicate that the project applicant is now registered. Select the Back button to return to the Funding Opportunity Registrations screen. Now we're ready to move on to Step 3, Creating or Establishing the Project Application. Project applicants must create a project in order for the project application to appear on the project screen. Creating a project means giving the project application a name. This is an intermediate step. You will not enter the project application from the project screen. That will occur in the fourth step, which we will discuss shortly. To create a project, select Projects on the left menu bar. When the project screen appears, select the applicable funding opportunity from the Funding Opportunity Name dropdown. In our example, we are creating a project for a fiscal year 2019 YHDP new project application. When the screen refreshes, an add icon will appear on the left side of the screen above the column headings. Select the add icon to open the create a project screen. On this screen, the project applicant name will be pre-populated. In the applicant project name field, enter the name of the project. Finally, select Save and Back to return to the project screen. The project name will now be listed in the menu. Selecting the View icon will allow you to view project details. If you wish to rename the project, you may do so on this screen by changing the name and selecting Save. And finally, we are at Step 4, accessing the project application on the Submission screen. After completing the project applicant profile, registering for the funding opportunity, and creating the project application, you can enter the project application and complete all the required screens. You must access the project application from the submission screen. Submissions refers to both submitted project applications and project applications that are currently in progress. This screen also includes applications that are created by mistake and are not intended to be submitted. Once you have created a project on the project screen and it appears there, you cannot delete it. You can only rename it. To access your organization's project application, select Submissions on the left menu bar. When the submission screen appears, use the submissions filters to locate the project you established. You can either select the project name in the project name field or select clear filters, then review the funding opportunity name slash step name column to find your organization's project. Select the folder icon to the left of the project application name you established with the correct funding opportunity name. The before starting screen will appear. You can now enter information into your project application. You do not have to complete the project application in one sitting. If you need to move on to something else, select Save at the bottom of the screen and then log out of eSnaps. To get back to a project application, log back into eSnaps and select Submissions from the left menu bar. Locate the project application on the list and select the icon next to the project name to get back into the project application. Remember, once the competition period opens each year, in order to access a project application for the first time, 
you must go through the four steps mentioned previously in this video. Remember the hint. The four steps are listed on the left menu bar. Thank you for your interest in learning about eSnaps. Please visit the HUD Exchange eSnaps page to view other helpful resources. If you have any further questions or run into any technical issues, please submit a ticket to the HUD Exchange Ask a Question Virtual Help Desk. Please remember to select eSnaps from the My Question is Related to drop-down menu.